Mauritius is on notice as tropical cyclone Eleanor wraps herself up north of the island where a landfall or close pass is expected in the next couple of days. So we're taking a look at Tropical Cyclone Eleanor in this forecast update brought to you by Force 13. If you are brand new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. You can see the system wrapping itself up quite nicely now. Very nice inflow features wrapping into the uh, storm center, but it doesn't look like it's got too much convection, i.e. strong thunderstorm activity around its actual center, but it is rotating it together quite nicely, which means the storm is very organized at this time. It's also remaining very compact. The forecast models aren't fully on board with a strong system right now. They've got that compact sort of low pressure center that we, we have been seeing um, on the satellite imagery and it is expected to um, kind of shrink in size actually in terms of the core size of the storm throughout Wednesday and then into Thursday. But as we get towards Thursday, the storm will get a little bit larger in terms of its maximum wind field before passing past Mauritius, delivering tropical cyclone force winds as highlighted by the red zones here with peak wind gusts probably up to around 100 knots from this tropical cyclone as it approaches peak intensity. But hopefully those winds stay offshore. We'll be seeing the strongest wind gusts um, on Mauritius probably at about uh, 60 to 70 knots at an absolute worst case scenario. Still, however, if the storm was to wobble closer to Mauritius, that will bring even worse conditions ashore. We'll likely be seeing some cyclone force winds at some point over it, especially the eastern parts of Mauritius and maybe even for Reunion as well. Nonetheless, also a tremendous amount of rainfall can be expected from the passage of this tropical cyclone. Now that's a look at the eastern VF forecast run. We're going to take a look at the GFS forecast right now. The GFS generally the more bullish on the models in the southwest Indian Ocean, but they haven't been too on board with a strong system at this time. You can see getting up to around category one status on the Sappho Simpson hurricane scales, so you're talking probably high end moderate tropical storm to early stages of a tropical cyclone here. Still though, enough to pack a punch in terms of very dangerous wind gusts and also some strong um, uh, rainfall accumulations as well in and around Mauritius and also on Re uh, Reunion, maybe even for Rodriguez as well, but it looks like Rodriguez is really getting this out on the impact in this system, which is some good news indeed. And then as it passes south of Mauritius, it's going to sort of wrap around and recurve up towards Reunion, which will likely exacerbate the amount of rainfall that Reunion can be expecting from this tropical cyclone. If we were to take a look at wind accumulation over the next three days and see what we're expecting in terms of maximum wind gusts, um, for Mauritius and surrounding areas. We'll take a look at the Eastern VF model considering it's a higher resolution model. We've got the Icon model as well. The Icon model has been substantially weaker of the forecast models and a brand new model for um, uh, uh, the, this part of the world, uh, powered by, I think it's Matera France, so maybe it's an African forecast model uh, that we've got here on Madagascar forecast model here. This one is a very high resolution model and I'm excited to see what the Arome forecast model has to say uh, about this system. And you're gonna have to subscribe to this, cha this channel to see what it has to say in terms of future updates. But you can see, if we switch it back to the Eastern Mobile forecast uh, run, you can see peak wind gusts over the next five days on Mauritius. They do miss out on the worst bit, but still 40 to 50 knot wind gusts quite widespread around the island. Prepare for damaging winds, especially for Thursday and Friday. It is going to be a rough day, that's for sure, in terms of heavy rainfall expected and also some pretty strong wind gusts, as I've said time and time again in this forecast update. Um, the worst of the winds should remain offshore, but still up to 95 knots, nearly 100 knots by the looks of things in this storm center. It's going to be a compact system, but it's certainly going to pack a punch to areas that it will impact. We're hoping that it stays substantially far away from Mauritius that it doesn't bring the worst conditions ashore to Mauritius but it's really it is very uncomfortably close at this point I mean 50 to 100 kilometers offshore from Mauritius and we're only expecting 50 knot winds um, if this storm does wobble further towards the west, then we will be seeing the destructive core move over Mauritius, and that would be a pretty bad situation indeed. I've been talking rainfall up for quite a while. You can see Thursday evening as the system approaches Mauritius, expect some pretty significant rainfall, especially on the western side of the system. If you're looking at rainfall totals approaching 50 to 60 millimeters every three hours. And if this was to, uh, for, to hold up for a couple of days, you'd be looking at rainfall accumulations approaching two to 300 millimeters, maybe even one or two pockets 
approaching four or 500 millimeters. Thankfully, it looks like once it gets south of Reunion, it turns subtropical by the looks of things as we get into later hours of Friday and into Saturday. And that doesn't mean that we're gonna see the worst um, case scenario in terms of maximum rainfall, especially along Reunion. Reunion, historically very wet from these tropical cyclones, but only 150 millimeters expected there, which is similar to rainfall accumulation on Mauritius, which is some very good news indeed. We'll take a look at the Euro model for the next 24 hours because there are um, places, especially on Reunion and Mauritius, that are already receiving the out of bands of this tropical cyclone. You can see as we get to the end of Wednesday, it's gonna be rapidly intensifying at this point with peak wind gusts of, I would say probably about 80 knots at this point. Yeah, it's really getting up um, in terms of maximum sustained winds at this point. And it will be delivering some pretty uh, decent rainfall totals at this point as well to parts of Reunion and also for Mauritius. And rainfall accumulations over the next 24 hours on Reunion should peak out at about 200 millimeters on Mauritius, maybe about 25 to 50 millimeters for most locations. Port Louis expecting about 10 to 15 millimeters, a negligible amount of rainfall there. Um, overall, I would say Port Louis can expect maybe, oh, at a guess, maybe about 150 millimeters. Not an awful lot of rainfall, but still, um, considering it's from a tropical cyclone, it will fall very quickly and it will likely cause flash flooding in some locations. So yeah, significant cyclone expected at this point. We'll also take a look at storm surge Mauritius and Reunion, not historically impacted by storm surge as much as other nations can be, but still peak wave heights around the center of the storm, approaching 20 feet. And when you're talking about 15 to 20 feet higher waves, certainly some significant coastal erosion can occur on Mauritius. And also for Reunion, you get some big waves in the channel between Mauritius and Reunion. It kind of acts like a funnel for these big waves to move through. Uh, Rodriguez as well, there's some low-lying parts of Rodriguez that could face a one or two problems with some storm tides as well associated with this tropical cyclone as it moves relatively close to the area. But once again, Mauritius and Reunion not historically affected too much by storm surge unless it's really catastrophic. And at this point, I'd expect a storm tide of no more than four feet as well. So not a really bad situation that we're looking at, which is some good news there. Um, for the nerd viewers, let's take a look at sea surface temperatures and also wind shear and see what the atmosphere is doing that's driving such a grim forecast in terms of intensification of the next two days. It will be intensifying quite fast and will definitely get up towards category one, maybe even category two status on the Sapphire Simpson scale. And as we know, loop current where the storm is right now, 30 degrees Celsius sea surface temperatures and 29 degrees right up towards its passage past Mauritius. And then south of the Mauritius, they obviously fall off a cliff as you get further towards the south. You can still see 28 degrees Celsius sea surface temperatures. It will have a birthday party um, in these sort of conditions. So hopefully wind shear does save Mauritius from uh, a storm with a very um, str uh, very strong peak intensity uh, moving through. And it does look like anywhere down towards the south of Mauritius, wind shear is quite high for the system right now. But where it is uh, for this storm's location, um, where it's located just on the latitude of northern Madagascar, you're looking at some very low wind shears. And this looks very healthy for tropical cyclone intensification. And mark my words, if it gets up towards category two or three status on the Sapphire Simpson scale, it will, however, be weakening as it gets towards Mauritius, but at a category two or three peak, there's only so much that little bit of weakening can actually do. And if it moves itself directly over Mauritius, then we'll be seeing a pretty serious situation um, unfold. Anyways, that is the latest from Force 13 Media on this developing tropical cyclone situation. Stay up to date with Meta Mateo France and also stay up to date with this channel. There's no better way to doing that than by subscribing. Your support really does mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.